Hello everybody, welcome back to Keeps with Scotty, I'm Scotty, and this is, look, this is totally the same for you, but this is a different setup for me. It is, um, 10.30pm, and if you know anything about me, <laughs> you know that I usually record in the morning, because I feel like that's the best time, but today is special, right? Today is special. Today I want, re I want to relax a little bit. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Ugh. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever oh, that you was do, hard. don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If oh. you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Ooh, that's the part that got cut off, and I wish it didn't, but it did, and it makes me really sad, but we're going to continue. I want to know what Rachel feels about that, because it's a huge, huge revelation in her life. I want she to seems tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. D yeah, come, I mean, of we're course. not angry anymore. We just want to know. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Uh huh. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? That's now or never. I mean. Definitely deserves to know these things. Chloe, I'm right here. Good. I need you. All right. Let's uh, not get lost. Unfortunately, um, because of choices I've made in this game, I wasn't allowed to kiss Rachel. When it, when I given the opportunity, uh, I realized after seeing a couple other people playing it that it was possible, and I'm a little I'm a little sad, cause that was back when I didn't like Rachel, but now I do. I now I really like her a lot, and when I was in high school, look. there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Oh my. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, <laughs> I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Alright. And then what happened? She was so alive. 
so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Wonder what that While means. The rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I see. Sarah became pregnant I thought it would solve everything and it did for a little while becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life there was so much love but I was still blind mm -hmm. Too much. Okay, what happened here? Let's continue to dissent. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Ah, shit. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. I don't know about the Sarah girl, but... That... No matter what happened... She would never do anything to hurt you. What the fuck did she do? Oops, sorry, I dropped my phone. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Yeah, Even dude, get your child. Of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss. Goodbye. I told what? her. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. Yep. Now you can't just it go back into... Pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again... And again, to keep you safe. So that's why that happened, huh? That's why she was so into looking at me during the play. Ah, uh, makes sense. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. I 
I I think I agree with him that it's probably for not it's probably not for the best, but um Let's ask why not. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Is she gonna make it? She looks a little wobbly. I should probably go with her. One group smash. I, I can't oh, SMS. leave Rachel to deal with this alone. A work shelf? I mean, they put it there, so maybe they want me to look at it. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Oh god, shit, there's a lot of things going down, too much shit to read. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come, heart heart. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. What? Who are you? Oh, it's that guy. <gasps> Brooke! Brooke! We know Brooke from the other game. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you were amazing. I'll even admit Mr. Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. <laughs> Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all can't peer pressure me. Can I talk to Daddy? Hey, Daddy, are you okay? Uh, um, this must be hard for you, too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone, but addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. I guess Chloe, Frank did know her, I right? I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. Yeah. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. I'm gonna go upstairs and she's gonna be gone. What about Mommy? Does Mommy have anything to say? Oops. B was pretty <laughs> It's kind of <laughs> I forget that that's what L2 does. Ah, oh, God, it's always ridiculous, but it's great. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. 
Sorry, I kind of want help. That tonight turned out so uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. All right, let's head over to Rachel now. Can I leave? I'm, I just, I just want to know if I can. <laughs> I guess not. Let's go. Come on. It's time. We've given Rachel some time to her on to herself, and now we're gonna go say hi. Oh, those glow in the dark stars. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to get demonetized. This music. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. How poetic. I'm sure it'll make sense at the end of the... I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Alright, um... How about... A nightlight? This light needs more light. Uh, let's just turn off the lamp and then we could turn that on. Wonder what that? I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Just turn off the regular thing. <laughs> what do you mean you want to brighten up the? Ah, oh, God. I'm not gonna use her laptop. That doesn't seem right. This also isn't my room. I don't feel like touching anything. Let's 
It's a weird thing to want to brighten up a nightlight, don't you think? Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. I get what you mean. It Makes happens. sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Huh. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Uh, so do I. I don't see what your I don't see what your plan is. <laughs> Emergency kit. Is that milk? What is that? Oh, it's one of those old-fashioned like going out at night things. Just took that right to my ass. Mom? What do you want, Mom? Shh. Why can't I move? I can't move the text messages. Why, why can't I move them? Please. Okay, there you go. Please, Chloe, I miss you. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case we don't have your key. Please come home. It doesn't matter. They're just after a curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Ah, <sighs> my mom really cares about me, doesn't she? Let's see if we can use a flashlight on this thing. Oh, how convenient. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. This is a weird strategy, but okay. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It reminds us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. I mean... But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? Right. I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. Dude, come on. It'll be okay, Rachel. I can't even call her that anymore. Come on, she loves you. Don't say. Don't and say that. that. Other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I don't know. I bet there's like one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. No chance. You're one in a hundred infinities, Chloe Price. 
Aww. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. Oh. Well, that's nice. So we can hit circle to leave. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. If you guys don't mind. If you do mind, then. I don't fucking care. Um. Sounds good. And your tears stain, friend. You have waited the end out there. Golden hour finding you stand still, stare at my stupid bedroom. All that I wanted was an un. Y'all can't see right now, but I'm grooving. Ah, oh, that was a good song. Man, they really want me to leave, but this song's good. It's not gonna let me leave by my own, and I, I like on its own. Yeah. All right. In a car door. I'll the go ahead and leave. The fact that she's here right now. And you call me. That she came here. Yeah. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. You probably shouldn't see her. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. I think this you was going to happen. That? Yeah. I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got that one covered too. 
Don't you remember that truck we built? <laughs> you do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. I think so. I think so. I think so. Alright, I guess we need to go talk to your mom. Let's see what she has to say. I, I mean, she's got some explaining to do, but whatever. I think it'll be okay though. Oh shit, another weird dream sequence. Okay, that was just really weird. Whoa, this is really weird. What am I wearing? Oh, it's my clothes from the thing. Is that a crow? I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> oh, it's weird. Remember oh, it's when weird. we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Oh, even these options are weird. We never... That wasn't... You. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. Jeez. Alright, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong don't you see anything not really fine it's <laughs> the spark plug no that's not it I just had that replaced isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and yes and what dad stop <laughs> None of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. Yeah, it's real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Um. 
Something about stories told by idiots, full of sound and fury, signifying fuck all? Nailed it. <laughs> I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Is that a... Oh. Give me a break. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Seems true, though. Where do you think you get it from? There's Shit. my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh, shit. Dad! Without you. With you. Man. Wow, what a scene. Her dreams are just getting wacky. Where are we? <laughs> Girl, your mom left the door open and you're sneaking in through the window. <laughs> Clean up the room. Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? No, your room is just really messy. Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Yeah, that's probably your Plus, best bet. He likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. Yep. I can do this. Come on, dude. Pick up. It's the wrong ones. Right. Chill. I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm your favorite client. Remember? Yeah, remember Frank? Remember Frank? <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You were real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. No, we just gotta make it to the junkyard without our freaking mom. What am I getting myself into? Her boyfriend killing you. I got a message okay. from Rachel. I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Can you change your clothes? Fine, I'll just take a shower instead. Oh, there's my laundry. Can't really do anything with it. Ah, oh, shit. I let my plant die. Are you kidding? Uh, better than nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Looks like it might be worse than nothing. But okay. <laughs> oh god, it's really funny. So in the first game, it's like... Figures. 
Richard High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gerhardt. March 16, 1989. Each year, yada, 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 yada. What? <laughs> Victoria Chase, commented on a photo. You're tagged nice in. to see my work is appreciated. Oh, shit. Just in case you need more proof that Black Hole is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. <laughs> Mad respect. No one asks you, Trevor. Burn. Also, I'm sorry. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. For the layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. Seriously? How art an idiot. Yeah. Go skip. Went to quit. An interview with Skip Matthews, pisshead frontman. Yeah. There you go. Alright, that sounds pretty awesome. Alright, cool. But we gotta take a shower. Let's take a shower. Dad's jacket. <gasps> oh no. Not 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 your mother's girlfriend, but your actual dad. Okay. Let's just leave. Death on demand? Mom playing music? She must be cleaning the house. Victoria? So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. <laughs> what are you talking about? I guess you think you're a little sidekick now. Yep. You got a very... Every line of play... Fucking perfect. How could that be? You're not even playing this. I did? I really did get that line perfect? I just guessed. Like, I straight up guessed. I saw the the, the script, and I just, like, looked through it, and I didn't even fucking... I didn't care. Like, I really... I didn't. I didn't pay attention. Um, perfect. How could you do that? How could that be? You've been planning this, haven't you? Oh, no. You figured it out. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all about Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass, that's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. You did try to drug. You did try to drug Chloe. What do you like, you have no right to be angry. Oh, wait, Rachel sent me a message. Did I not check it? Mm, ah shit. We've talked a lot. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm? You kick ass? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank in the Junkyard in two hours. I think you can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house. Just showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet me in the Junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Just date me already. <gasps> Are we gonna get blue hair now? Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Maybe in your dirty ass room. Okay. Nope, not in the obvious place. No awesome pirate towel. Why should not even be here? Lots of washcloths. No towel. <laughs> hey, I've been in a hotel room with just a bunch of washcloths, washcloths, and no towel. And you know what? Gross. That's just how it happened. Manly grip pomade. Ugh. Okay. Uh, in here? Probably. It's the last place, huh? Score. Hey, there's my blue hair dye. Do it. Do it. Do it. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Oh, this is wash away color. Hmm. That no, might still be worth a try. Ready for the best shower of my life. <laughs> no, no, David took all the hot water. I wouldn't be surprised. in that towel. There better be a t pirate in that towel. <gasps> oh, 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 snap. Oh, snap. Oh, 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 Chloe. What is that? What are you doing? Who are you fighting? Who are you fighting, Chloe? 
That's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. You need new clothes? Wait, wait you're gonna get your mom's clothes? <laughs> Cause you need new clothes? It doesn't seem like your style, but okay. Okay, you haven't changed into anything, so... Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do I feel like wearing on this... This is thing? I bet I have a lot of options. Do we want bonus outfits? I would love bonus outfits. Oh, these are the ones we already have. Okay, so what are the new ones? Dragon. Oh, not bad, not bad. I like it. I like it. All right, we're gonna play dress up for a couple, <laughs> for a couple minutes. So y'all bear with me, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I like this. I'm probably gonna stick with it, but just in case. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, not bad. Same um thing on her head. What do you call it? I think beanie. Same beanie. Not a huge fan of beanies, but uh, okay. Alright, let's try pink punk dough. I pay I paid the extra extra money for the deluxe edition. You better believe I'm gonna be ooh ooh girl. Si se mira muy bonita. And no beanie. Uh, are we down? Are you down? Are you down? I'm down. Oops, I accidentally print X. Oh, Jane Doe. <gasps> I fucking love that shirt now. You have to keep it. You have to keep it. You have to keep We're going to keep it. Don't worry. We're going to keep it. I just realized her shirt. Right. <laughs> One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. But your step. That's I'm sorry. That should be in the garage downstairs. But um, what's his name? David got you guys the new toolbox with a bunch of other cool stuff in it. Remember? Aren't you grateful? You know, I remember when I first colored my hair. I think it was blue too. And my dad said I looked like a parrot. I wonder what this girl's parents are gonna say. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? I don't know. Yeah. Probably zero. Well, actually, no. The garage door is right there, isn't it? I'd say your chances are pretty good. I'd say they're pretty good. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. I know, and she doesn't. And she thinks you're not home. She, who knows? She doesn't know where you're at. It's kind of creepy. I'm mean, not creepy, but like, seems intense. I I don't I don't really think there's any reason to stay here much longer, right? Yeah, I don't think so. We get it. She's happy. Hey, who's there? <laughs> you found me. Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. <laughs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. 
I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you... coming home tonight? Mom... I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Fixing a car. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, uh -huh. wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oops. <laughs> I'm scared. It won't take but a minute. What could it be? What could it be, David? Did you find something in my room? Did you did you find my rabbit? Did you find my rabbit? That's my rabbit. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. Oops. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, huh. if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, and I, I showed it to you, okay? So the idea I was honest is about it. you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Huh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. 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 My instinct tells me to do this. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked oh. David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew <laughs> that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. <laughs> but Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. Oh, you don't know nothing Come about here. me, boy. Take a look at this. God, you said it wasn't gonna take a minute. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was Kay. killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke Shit. about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. That was your friend, all right? My, that was my so dad. I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Well, um... Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. It seems to mean a lot to you. I'd feel bad taking it. Alright, I'm, uh, 
I get his gesture, and I do want to give him a chance. I just don't want to take his photo. I just don't want to take the photo. That's it. I could, I'm afraid I'm going to lose it or something. I'm just going to get smashed. And then, oh, I hope you have copies, David. I really hope you have copies. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. That's a really nice illustration, by the way. Thank you. David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right. All right. Dang it, David. You said he makes signals. What? Oh, hell. Oh, shit. Rice cereals. <laughs> Guns save lives. Oh, goodness gracious. Give me a break. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Like a, like a book? Like a how to fix cars book? Okay. Uh, I would suggest taking the bigger toolbox, but that's okay. You want to take your daddy's toolbox? That's fine. I get it. Look, I don't know anything about fixing cars, so this better not be like a fixing cars mission here. But if it is, whatever. How do we even get to the junkyard in the first place? Taking the train again? I guess so. Don't trains have like anti people getting in their cars? Like technology? I'd imagine they'd have something to stop people from just climbing on and hitching around. Maybe they don't care. As long as they don't steal things. So squirrel. a bit more love like how I can salvage this beast I just oh, need to find the right tool for each problem are you fucking kidding me let's run the radio might as well alright is this supposed to help like I need a manual but I'm really glad it's here is there only one page say hi to the fans skip Skip. Hi, fans. <laughs> Skip. I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Oh, I'm listening to this radio. Hold on. I used to. I uh, I I uh, quit actually. Really? Well, hold on to your horses, folks. Skip Matthews of Pisshead has traded in his badge and six shooter for a life of rocking faces. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead, and if you haven't heard these guys yet. What I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell him, Skip? Uh, this had rules? Nailed it. Serpentine with a wrench. What's a wrench? <laughs> I don't think any of these are wrenches. This is right here. Pretty loose. How can I tighten it? With a the wrench. There you go. <sighs> I'm 
much better. <laughs> I think that's all. I, I don't know anything else, dude. I'm sorry. It's that's all. That's all his manual tells me. Manual. Distributor I'm cap. Really glad it's here. Um. Remove contacts. Remove carbon buildup. Lubricate with dielectric grease. I don't know what that means. Uh. Alright, but anyway, what is it called again? Not like I need a manual. Distributor cap. But I'm really glad it's here. Radiator cap. Intake tube. Distributor cap. There you go. The distributor cap is pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Like a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> uh, screwdriver? I can't believe I'm like actually fixing a fucking car in this game. <laughs> that should help keep shit distributed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Go back from whence we came. Oh shit, I got a message. But my hands are greasy. I can't check messages when my hands are greasy. Ah, oh, shit. Air quality, health advisory, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay. Sunday, May 9th, 2010. Commul culmination state park fire remains active moderate or heavy smoke expected limit outdoor activity yeah David what's up Chloe this is David did my mom give you my number yes she did I noticed you took your father's toolbox are you breaking down a project sort of what kind of project jeez what happened to trusting me no no I was just asking glad to see you're taking up interest in something keep it up you can just say you're trying to fix a car I mean he really damn he really he really softened up there didn't he no idea why. Oh, but anyway, I don't think the screwdriver is going to be. <laughs> Definitely see some problems. Just need to match them to the right tool. Okay, so for a battery, I'm going to say you need pliers. I've changed a battery before. <laughs> Actually, no, you have to unscrew it, don't you? This kind of thing is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. No, use the pliers. I think it'll work. There you go. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Huh. Uh, radiator cap. I don't fucking know what that this is, thing but okay. Seems pretty bumped up. I think I should move on to something else. <laughs> okay. At least you're being honest. What about this? This thing is going to fuck up. Blow. Okay, sure. Blow it. Maybe. Oh my god. Sick. That's gross. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Of course. You about to steal something from over there. You about to steal a sparky plug. There's a dead body in there. Look down, look down, dead body. Oh, guess not. Please, I need you. 
<laughs> well, that car is working just fine. Oh no, wait, you're in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, don't destroy your car a second after you fix it. How do you plan to exit this junkyard? There's a train track. If you grab the photo of San Andreas, you can't just drive on the train tracks. That license plate is so not legit. I'm at my palace. Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> badass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, cool, yeah. Hey, I think so too. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Oops. Frank Oops. here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey. Is it I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? Yeah, we're cool. Chill. I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? The hell is that? Don't fucking touch her. Yeah, exactly. Get your hands off. What's up with this guy? All of a sudden being like an asshole. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Well, you hit me, f you touched me first, so. I wanna shut the fuck up about your argument? Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See? You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty bad idea. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay. Then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Sure, why not? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, none of these options are the truth. I, kinda, I mean, there's no reason to lie to that guy. He looks scary. She's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. 
All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? Tell her, tell no. him, Reach. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We knew. <laughs> no, he's not. Come on, chill. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Uh oh. Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Come uh -oh. on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh, shit. Get the knife. Get the knife. Hurry. Run. Get the knife. Get the knife. Get the knife. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. That's just a weapon. Hurry. Get it. Get it. Get it. Fucking bitch. Okay, Rachel, come on. No. No. Holy shit, that turned out terribly. <laughs> that was not good. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, God. what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's 
mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. <sighs> Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. Yeah, you deserve it, so, Chloe. I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? God. Damon had a knife out. And we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him and then he stabbed her I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something but when he attacked her I just froze it's not your fault this guy is... Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. Right. It's a fucking monster. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad that guy's so level-headed about it. Because that's, that's some crazy shit that happened. Seriously. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna go right now. I didn't know Mikey was in this hospital. I want to say hi to Mikey. Aw, oh, man, it's cool dad. Hi, cool dad. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake. Come on. Oh, man, I wanted some crisps. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh, you f you'll find a way. <laughs> oh, man. Jackpot. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Dude, the girl, this is a hospital. I'm not about to slam that. There's a girl right there. Can I distract her? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. 
I'm here to rustle your jimmies, Sean please. Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Can we read it? Is this for real? Uh-oh, you're going to make me read it. Administrator Hafizafala. One of your current patients is Michael North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. Who's Michael North? As the physical safety of its as the physical safety of its students is the core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally and I stress anonymously cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me, Sean Prescott. Followed up on F9 WH. What? I thought this was anonymous. No, oh, well, he <laughs> used okay, anonymous to everybody else, I guess. Huh. I'm not sure who Michael North is, but that's why we have this handy dandy thing. Hi, right, where are you, Michael? Sarah, Drew, Nathan. What the? F who is Michael North? Oh, whatever. I don't care. Let's head over to say hi to Mikey. Um, yeah, let's go. We're getting to the hour and a half point, but I'm gonna wait, wait till we hit it before we start. Uh, before I go to the next one. Oh, oh, Mikey is I Michael. I want to stay sane. I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? I get what it means now. He's on the phone. I don't know. I should talk to him. All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt. Of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. That's and good. Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. I'm glad we did what we oh, did. Oh. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Um. You should probably ask Drew. I, uh. Don't really know any details. I, I'd want him to know. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let you get to your um phone, cause when someone's looking for work, I, I understand that phones are incredibly valuable, which is why California is like, hey, everyone gets a phone. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, something like that. Hey, Mikey. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Yeah, a hospital room when someone's hurt really isn't a place to start with um, negativity. So how are you guys doing? So, what have you all been up to? Yeah, uh, homework, I guess. Yeah. And hanging out with Dad. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm. Rachel was stabbed in the arm. 
by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No. No. Not at all. If, if anything, I... I should have thought about what happened with you guys before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... <laughs> Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. <laughs> Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Really? I thought she would be taking a while. Who's this by? I'm curious. Oh, <laughs> those must be from Steph's parents. <laughs> Hey, can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. No, definitely too nerdy. There you go. <laughs> cool. Oh, shoot. That's pretty sick. Tell Rachel she's got to come to board game night soon. I will. Oh, it's these boards. How much does like your paint these hurt? These nurses must love this. <laughs> Cause for admission: cyborg operation, uranium exposure. <laughs> oh God! Ooh, a newspaper. Oh wait, a notepad. Ooh, ooh, like ooh. he's entering into a cartoon contest. <laughs> I hope he wins. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I want to draw a cartoon. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Principal Wells? Oh, shit. I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injury. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize that in many ways I have failed to do that. I want you to know that the students and faculty are rooting for your speed recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I have made sure that your teachers are ready to accommodate any academic needs you may have. As for the matter that you were injured in Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I have begun to look for new security personnel. If there's anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon your return, please don't hesitate to let me know. Nah, that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. Excuse me, sir. Say hi to Rachel for us. We're rooting for her. Well, I guess that means they want me to go. That's cute. I guess. Fine, fine, I'll go. But look at these textbooks. Ah, oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? <laughs> Y'all had a robot visit. Alright, I'm gonna go see Rachel, I guess. Hey. Wait up a sec. Oops. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh. Don't worry about it. You were in a... A really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. I am afraid it could have been much worse. <laughs> Alright. So this is a halfway point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
from James Amber. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'll love to see you. Thanks. Alright, let's go see Miss Amber. Rachel. Can I get some opioid? Okay, forget it. No, too soon. Too soon. Just heard the fire went out. Went out? You mean it's controlled? No. It's completely out. Oh shit. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Ah. Oh, is it like the fire? Like the big fire that was supposed to be the one that we caused? I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, there they are. Okay, so anyway, we're um we're about halfway through. I need to take a little pee break. And we'll be right back in episode two. Alright? We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.